The Lagos State Government has unveiled the Lagos Citizen Gate platform for getting feedback from the citizens on policies, projects, and others. Special Advisor, Office of Civic Engagement, Aderemi Adebowale, accompanied by the Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Bengal Motosho, disclosed this during an interministerial launch of the application at Alausai Keja Lagos. According to Adebowale, the Citizens Gate 2.0 platform interfaces with citizens of Lagos and is expected to take governance to the doorstep of the residents. This is the 2.0. It's much more robust than the first one. This one is citizen-centric. No matter what it is that you want to complain or you want to talk about in Lagos, the Citizens Gate platform will, is equipped to take care of it. So at the back end, all the commissioners, Mr. Governor, Mr. Deputy Governor, they are seeing your complaint. We are listening to everything that you are saying, and we are making sure that at the appropriate time, that issue, that complaint, that request is being taken care of. Um, so when you talk about the local government, so we are launching the phase one of the Citizens Gate platform now. At the end of the day, we are going to be in all the 57 local We are going to have a DEX at all the 57 local governments. The Commissioner for Science and Technology, Hakim Pham, said the state, through the platform, would continue to bring governance closer to the people, enhance feedback mechanism and transparency. Commissioner for Information, Bengal Motoshow, and Special Advisor to the Governor on Works and Infrastructure, Arami De Adeoye, said the platform would ensure participatory governance while keeping Lagosians involved in a scientific way. What is also important on this uh, Citizens Day 1.0 is that our platform was actually built on service level ag agreement and KPIs. What that means is that for the MDAs that were on the platform, Office of Transformation, Creativity and Innovation sat with each of the MDAs, looked at their mandates, uh, and then in discussion with the MDAs, uh, mapped out how long it would take for them to actually perform each activity or task in relation to their mandate. And that's what formed the service level agreement. We provide the technology platform to work in the background to make sure that this system will be available. And I can assure you that we have a system that we're starting small and we continue to stay to scale faster. It can take a whole lot of conversation, a whole lot of activities without having to repurpose a server to process all the requests. With this platform, it's been hosted in the cloud, which allows us to move from a very small footprint to a very large footprint, so in case that we need to handle a lot of cases. What that season gate does is, it puts you, it, it alerts you that maybe you have an oversight, something is not in your, in your radar, please go back here and look. And then the fact that you also have FLAs you have days that you must resolve some things. It puts everyone under their toes. Yes. And for me, as agency heads, it's a good way to also monitor your people. It's not enough that you think that you know it. Yes, you can capture it, but this is a scientific, technical way that does it better. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.